Shabbat Shalom. It's so wonderful to be back with all of you here this week. What a week. A week there are ups, there are downs here on campus as students dealt with the uh, vote in the Senate. But I first have to congratulate and to tell everybody how inspired I am by all the students that stand tall and stand proud. It's interesting to note, a lot of people ask me this week, Rabbi, do you think there's greater anti-Semitism? Do you think things are harder now? And what should we do in response? As much as I could explain in under two minutes, I want to share with you there are two kinds of hate. There's a kind of hate that somebody hates you. Let's say, look at in our history, like the Egyptians. The Egyptians claim they hate us because we got too big and too mighty. They hated us because they hated us, but they had an excuse for it. So, if someone hates you for an excuse, you could try to speak to them and tell them not to worry, try to see what you could do. But even then, you don't have to, but you could try to. It's like a business competitor. They might not like you, you could try to make things work, but then there's hate for no reason. Someone hates you simply because you are who you are. And that's the kind of haters we had in our history, like Amalek, who attacked the Jewish people as soon as they left Egypt. It didn't say they attacked them because it got strong and mighty, it says they attacked them just because they attacked them, but you don't like them. And that's why we have a commandment to erase and eradicate Amalek. Because our job when it comes to hate, many times people say, negotiate, sit down and talk. Of course, that's always a good thing. But unfortunately, most of the hate today is not for a reason. It's simply, it's like a virus. And I believe the best response to that hate is to stand taller and to stand prouder. Because if you don't stand taller and prouder, you're essentially doing what they want. So I believe the best answer to anti-Semitism and everything that's going on today is to be proud Jews, to be proud of who you are, to remember nobody could ever define who you are. And I think it's very interesting because in this week's Torah portion, a lot of the laws are moral laws. It's not a lot of ritual laws in here, it's a lot of moral laws. How you treat the enemy? How do you treat if someone is blind and is in front of a stumbling block? And I think that's what Judaism teaches us a lot about the moral laws. And being proud of who you are lets you stand tall in all situations and at all times. And I bless everybody, a wonderful Shabbat. The week is gonna end on a high. We're actually coming to the happiest time of the month, year, the month of Adar. It says Adar comes, joy and celebration comes. So next week we're actually entering the most joyous time of the year. So let us be extra happy and extra joyful as we know joy will break all boundaries. Shabbat Shalom. Believe in yourself, stand tall and stand proud, and please don't spend too much of your ounces of energy on those that just pull you down. Spend it on picking yourself up. Shabbat Shalom.